Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at installing a piston and rings and how to orient the rings properly before you put the piston and connecting rod together and install it in a small engine. So let's go check it out. So the video applies to any piston installation, whether it be in a large engine or a small engine. Uh, I'm installing the one on the right here and you, we're assuming you already took your engine apart and you're putting assembly lube on your crank and you got your crank put in. Usually the orientation will be shown in the instructions, but if there's a mark or a pip, Anything like that, usually that mark points upward. Ugh, you hear that sound? That's a horrible sound. You do not want to install piston rings by hand. You want to use the right tool for the job. And the right tool is what's called a piston ring expander or a piston ring installation tool. I've got the link in the description for this as well as all the tools I used in here. And it's pretty straightforward. You start from the bottom and work all the way up to the top. So one thing you want to watch out for when you're installing your piston rings in the piston is orientation. Notice there are one, two, three. Compression, second compression, and usually an oil or oil scraper ring. You want to orient them 120 degrees apart. I marked this here just for an example, and then this is the wrist pin. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you start, but you want to make sure that none of the gap ends are directly over top of the wrist pin here. For those of you that have been watching my previous videos, you'll know that this is the connecting rod and the link is in the description for how to install that but what holds the connecting rod to the piston is what's called the wrist pin and if your wrist pin is a tight fit you can actually put the wrist pin in the freezer heat up your piston and then it should slide right in without breaking it um, the thing that holds the wrist pin into the piston is called the piston pin lock or the retaining ring or the piston pin retainer uh, basically it's just a small piece of wire that you can uh, put inside the groove and that keeps the the wrist pin from sliding back and forth now notice mine's not all the way in the groove uh, All you got to do is simply flip it over and Tap it with the magic marker and it locks it right into place. Don't forget. There are two Retainers, so make sure you install both of them or you could cause some serious damage to your bore so when you go to install your piston and rings into the bore, it won't just slide right in. You need a special tool. It's called a piston ring compressor, and I have a link in the description for one that works for small engines as well as large engines. And basically, you oil up the inside of the compressor and oil up your piston and rings and make sure your piston is oriented correctly. This arrow indicates mine is going towards the flywheel side. Put the piston inside the compressor, make sure the bottom sticks out by about a quarter of an inch, and then you really want to wrench this thing down. You get it as tight as you can get it. The reason why you want to wrench it down super tight is so that it'll slide into the bore easily. Um, after you do that, oil up your bore, oil up the bottom of the piston, make sure it's all oriented, and it should slide right in if you did everything right. It's that easy. If it catches, readjust. So there you have it. That's how to install the piston. The final step is installing the connecting rod. You want to torque it down for a small engine with an arc billet connecting rod to 170 inch pounds oiled, alternating 20 pounds on each side until you get to 170 on each side. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you like it, as always, please give it a thumbs up if you find it helpful. It helps me out a ton. Also, uh, the next video we're going to be looking at is how to install an arc billet flywheel, how to set the flywheel gap, lap the uh, flywheel to the crank, set the timing, and uh, for those of you that haven't been watching my videos, this is all part of a mini bike series that'll show you basically how to pimp out your small engine to get it to rev real high, and then we're going to be putting it on a Baja Heat mini bike and driving around real fast, so stay tuned and please subscribe. Thanks.